I went from looking like this to looking like this, and I have never felt as badass and confident and strong as I did during this period of my life. But recently, I have been lacking, I have been slacking, I have been whacking. It's not fully true, but it's partly true. Also, is whacking the right word? Definition of wow, I guess that's a dance style. This looking definition of wow is lousy, so I've been whacking. And so I've decided to do a fitness reset. And if you are in that mindset as well, here is the step-by-step -step process that I'm going to be taking to get there. And my focus is gonna be within three areas. Workout routine, diet, and habits to set me up for success. And I wanna show you exactly what I'm gonna do within these three areas to level the frick up. <laughs> But the thing that people say that if you want to lose weight, that you have to do cardio, I don't necessarily agree with. What does my nutrition need to look like moving forward for me to feel at my best, for Move. me to do towards the goals that I want to achieve? When I say that I've been lacking within my fitness game, it's kind of true, it's kind of not. What I mean is that I've been focusing on other areas of my life. I feel like whenever I really want to make progress within one area of my life, that oftentimes needs my whole attention. And so I've just been staying consistent with my workout routine, but I'm ready now. I'm ready to take it to that next level. I'm ready to freaking get in the best physical shape of my life. I've never actually used an equipment before, so we're going to give it a try. While we talk about what we got to do, if we want to get back on track, reset our fitness routine, because what I've been doing is fine. I've been working out consistently pretty much every day with obviously like a rest day every now and then. But the thing is, I reached a certain fitness level. And so for me to maintain that, I still have to train pretty hard and stay pretty consistent with my diet. But if I want to continue to evolve, get even stronger, get to the next fitness level, I got to push myself harder. I got to get crazy uncomfortable. More uncomfortable than the uncomfortable, if you know what I mean. I'm just ready for that next level, you know? I hope you're with me at that in jail. Okay, you're like, Oh, but crazy in your face. So a goal I set myself is 60 minutes of working out per day. Now that on my rest day can be yoga, it can be dance. But I know with myself, I'm gonna wanna come here, do a little workout six days a week. Now sometimes we're gonna go our day up. Other times we may take a more chill. Those smaller muscle groups like triceps and calves, the little less challenging party part. But 60 minutes a day for me feels right. Maybe for you it's 10 minutes a day. If you go from zero minutes to 10 minutes, then you should be freaking proud of yourself. And I wanna come clean about something. Recently, have come here and just focused on creating content where I can now from now on only do that once my 60 minute a full intense focus workout has been done. That's the goal. I've set certain weight goals within different lifts that I want to improve upon and the only one I'm competing with when it comes to this and setting these goals is my previous self. I think that is the absolute best and only way we should ever set goals. If you follow me on Instagram or you watch my short you know that I haven't been training yet for like way too long and that the 25s of this gym so tiny. It just looks like I'm a spaghetti arm, which kind of am, but I'm trying to work on it. So I put in a 20 time and it's my goal is definitely to get a full plate. Yeah, it's always good to have goals. Now to make sure that I get stronger every single week, I'm going to use progressive overload. So progressive overload, if you haven't heard of that term before, I think most of us have, but just as a little reminder, it simply means that during every single workout, we go a little bit harder. Maybe that means we do an extra rep, we add a little bit more weight, we add another set. We just every time we work out, we do it a little bit harder. Than the and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep track on what I do in every single session so that I know that next time I do that same exercise, I'm gonna go just a little bit heavier, a little bit harder, maybe add another rep, another set, something to make it a little bit more challenging than the last time. Because what I happen to do is, yes, I've been pushing myself hard, but if we want to develop within something, we gotta track our progress. Because our brain, when it gets uncomfortable, is gonna be like, I can't do anymore. But then what we realize is that we can do more than what we thought we could initially. It's kind of like how, you know, when you have a trainer next to you, friend or something then you can do more than if it was just you because you got that extra person to push you and then your brain is like oh yeah i can do this so i'm gonna try to go past the point where i want to quit in every exercise and every rep that's where i'm at now, when it comes to cardio, I got zero rules. I don't have any rules right now. Maybe I will at some point. Honestly, I like to change my mind about things. I like to journal my thoughts, and then I'm like, what do I need at this moment of my life? But I will do a little warm up, and then I will take dance class when that feels right. I will do a badass and 10 running session when that feels right. I just wanted to make sure you know that I'm not making any rules when it comes to that. The thing that people say that if you want to lose weight, that you have to do cardio, I don't necessarily agree with that. I actually personally feel like I get so much more hungry if I do a ton of cardio, but I just love it because it feels amazing.
Also, yesterday I did a 90 minute leg work. Yeah. It was so incredible. You know that feeling when you shower, George, your legs are like numb? That's how I felt yesterday after leg day. And oh my goodness, I love that feeling. I love it. It is my day three since I decided to do this reset. Honestly, maybe it's just mentally, but I can already feel the difference. Which I actually think for me always has to do with the intention I set when I want to do something. Because I can do a workout, the exact same workout. And if my mind is focusing on actually squeezing the muscle, like really going as hard as I can, then I get double at least, maybe triple or quadruple as much out of that workout as when I'm not as focused during the workout. I don't know if you can relate. And as we all know, if we want to build muscle, we got to give our muscles time to recover. We got to stay pretty consistent with our workout routine and our diet is just as important, isn't it? I just wanted to share, now it's almost done, but I am doing these like big veggie thing, cauliflower and different other veggies. And I love it, my bottle loves it. The thing is, I feel like I have been eating healthy. This is a raw cocaine. Not the most delicious thing I've ever had, but it's okay. But I was trying to make a point. Let's actually instead make the protein cake that we made in my previous video. Cause that's delicious and easy. While we chat. Yeah. And once again, scoop is gone. Oh, oh, okay. Actually, it's not. I just found it. About to be upset. But so I'll say I have been eating pretty healthy. One scoop of protein powder. One up nutrition, code Pernilla. To get 20% off your one up nutrition protein powder, I was about to drop it. There would have been protein powder all over the floor. I'm going to add a little bit of PB2. And I've been pretty consistent with intermittent fasting. And the reason I'm saying pretty is because I do it when I'm by myself. And sometimes when I'm out with other people, like social while then, I'm not as strict about it because it's more a thing that I want it to be for me when I'm by myself and I don't want it to interact with my social life. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. I'm gonna add a little bit of unsweetened cocoa powder and that's it. Then we're done with this recipe. You already know if you watch my video. And then a little bit of water. I haven't been eating as much veggies. I'm saying that as I'm literally making a protein cake. But the last three days, I really have been good about my diet. And like, I know what I need to eat to feel at my best. Just like I feel like you know within what you need to do to feel at your best. And sometimes we have a week, maybe a month, maybe years where we aren't as consistent with it. So it's just about resetting our minds and being like, okay, I'm gonna get back into it. And you know, maybe you're completely starting your fitness routine from scratch. And if that's the case, I would just see if I could do my best to increase my protein a little bit. Maybe you want to use one of those calculators online that can actually like calculate the macros. Maybe you don't. Maybe you just want to increase your veggie intake, healthy fat intake, whatever it is that you feel like you specifically need. Something that's always worked really well for me is making rules. Rules for myself as to what I can and cannot do. But these rules are rules that are aligned with what I want long term. And like really sitting down and asking myself, what does that look like? And recently when I've been asking myself, for me, that's like intermittent fasting. And so I want to be strict about intermittent fasting, but then I ask myself, what about when I'm out and social? And my rule about that was that there should be no rules when I'm out. Of course, if I end up being out every day of the week, then I can ask myself like, what do I actually want to do in this situation? But yeah, like asking myself, being really real with myself, like what does my nutrition need to look like moving forward for me to feel at my best, for me to move towards the goals that I want to achieve? What does it look like on my strict days? What does it look like on my maybe not so strict days? And just just getting really clear with myself about that. For example, I can only have one of these cakes a day and I don't even have one a day. I felt like making this right now because I was wanting to make some food honestly while we're chatting just because I don't know. And also because I did kind of want a cake like this right now. But if you watch my what I eat in day videos, you kind of know what I eat in a day. My point of all this is that clarity makes everything easy in the gym, in the kitchen, and with our habits, which is what we're gonna chat about next. A little dance move for you there. I tend to fall off track and fail a lot. And that's why this third and final step is the absolute most crucial when it comes to my fitness reset. I wanna show you something really exciting because I got this like habit tracker where I can put in my to-dos for the week so that I can really make sure that I check off the things. I feel like I've set goals for my weeks, but then haven't really stayed accountable whether or not I actually ended up doing it. Like I wrote it down, but I didn't get a chance to check it out. So this is really incredible. I already got started for this week and I've never had a habit tracker like this. So for me, my habits are things like diet, the 60 minute work, chat with two to three people. I set myself this little goal to 
chat with two to three people per day, whether that's like person helping at the counter at the grocery store, just like actually caring about like how their day is going about their life or going up to someone at the gym, just asking like, what's your name? Whatever. If you like have seen them around, you know, and today I'm at five people so far. It's really freaking cool when you set your mind to something, then something that you normally never would have done suddenly becomes easy and then you get more human connection. Yeah. I just wanted to share that case that would be something maybe you'd go on to try. It's fun. It's good. It's not. Something else that I have on my habit tracker right now is my night routine because something that's really important for me is that I do things that make me feel really good at night because if I work really hard throughout the day, I need to make sure that I prioritize that at night. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with me reaching my fitness goal, but I do think that when we're thriving as humans, we're more likely to stay consistent with those things that are important to us. When we're not thriving, we're not doing the things that bring us joy on a daily basis. It is harder for us to stick to our goals because we'll feel less motivated, we'll feel less energized. So I think it's really important that throughout your fitness journey, that you make sure to prioritize doing things that make you feel really good. So that's that habit tracker. And the last few years I've kept the to-do list and I get so many more things done. When I keep that, when I have a to-do list and maybe if working out and staying consistent with your diet is something that's new to you, it may be useful to write that on your to-do list so that you can check it off whenever you've actually completed the thing. And I don't want to go on about my morning routine, but if you follow me for a while, you know that my morning routine is just so crazy important for me to daily remind myself of my goals, daily connect with myself, daily check in with myself, and daily ask myself, am I actually doing everything I need to be doing right now? I really challenge myself because my brain is good at excuses. So if I journal every day, I can catch those excuses if they start popping up again. Also, before I go to bed at night, I'm holding these glasses because I just shot TikTok with them. But at night, what I do is either I'll do like a little visualization where I visualize what it is that I want to manifest or recently I've also been doing affirmations, just like listening to affirmations throughout the night and it does make me feel really good. And thirdly, I meditate every day. And recently in my meditations, I've been doing these visualizations as well. They make me so happy. When I initially wanted to get in shape back in the day, what I did was do these visualizations as in pretending as if I already was living this life that I wanted to manifest for myself. And when I could do these visualizations, then when I was at the gym, I could step into this, embody this emotion, these feelings that I would feel once I had achieved my goal. And it's so powerful. It makes you push so much harder. It makes you feel and it gives you that confidence to believe that you actually are capable of doing it. So I highly recommend. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're ready to crush it with me. Let's keep each other motivated, keep each other consistent and align our actions with what it is that we deep down want because long-term our fulfillment levels, our happiness levels are just going to be so much greater and we both deserve that. So let's crush it. Subscribe if you want to join the family and have the most beautiful day or night.